So good morning, everyone. We are here for the library lowdown. All the things you need to know about what is happening at the Enid Public Library this week and next week. So I have a special guest today. I have the cat in the hat. This cat in a hat has been all over the library this week doing all sorts of silly, fun things. And by the way, I am Susan. I'm the children's librarian at the Enid Public Library. And I bet you can't tell, but Wednesday, March the 2nd, was Dr. Seuss's birthday. And so we have been celebrating and having fun and making mischief. All week long. Cat in the Hat, what have you enjoyed this week at the library? Well, you know, I love to celebrate my creator, Dr. Seuss. He's a very dear friend of mine. And of course, I like to celebrate me. You are kind of a star. And so we had fun. Mm -hmm. So here's some fun things I did. Okay. On Monday morning, I had birthday cake. Mm, very important. Oh wait, no, that was Tuesday morning I had birthday cake. Okay, yes, you did have Tuesday morning birthday cake. And Wednesday morning, I had birthday cake. <laughs> yes. And Wednesday afternoon, I had birthday cake. Mm -hmm. It was great mm -hmm. because, you know, this figure doesn't just happen. It takes green eggs and ham and cake well, that's to what I maintain was, this. That's what I was going to say is mm -hmm. you not only had birthday cake, but I saw you, the kids, you were kind of turning up your nose at green eggs and ham. Yeah. And all the kids were Sam I Am's. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they said, you must try some green eggs and ham. And you tried it because the kids who mm -hmm. came to the birthday party convinced you. It's true. I did not want green eggs and ham. I did not want them anywhere, but I was convinced to try them. Mm -hmm. So I gave it the sniff test. Uh, yes, it was a very long sniff. Well, I had to be sure. Okay. You know, cats are kind of picky. I've heard that. And then I had to, you know, taste it, roll it around my mouth. Mm -hmm. Then you had to think about it. You thought a long time. I did. And I made my decision that I do like them. I will eat them. Will you eat them here or there? And will you eat them anywhere? I will. Okay. I will. I'm yes. so glad to hear it that. It was great. So I had a lot of fun. I, I brought my, my fish with me. Yes. And the we fish. had a lot of fun. The um, fish was busy. You were balancing that fish in the bowl yeah. in your hand mm -hmm. and paw. Mm -hmm. It was I'm, amazing. I'm very talented. Yes, you are. I'm very talented. Now, I also heard mm -hmm. that you joined in an exercise class that we have going on every week in the library. Tell us yes. what that was about. Okay, so we have people who come to the library to check out books and to mm -hmm. read books and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. But we also have people that come to the library, I found out, who come and do exercise. Really? It's true. Yes. And so I snuck in the back room while they were exercising and they were doing this uppy downy stuff and they call it cardio. Cardio, okay. Cardio. Yes. They were doing it. That's probably good for cats. It's, well, I mostly like to sleep and eat and then I go on a little sprint. Oh, okay. All like right. if I see something good to chase. Okay. So how did you do in this cardio class? I kept up with them. Excellent. I did. It's called SAIL. SAIL. Staying active and independent for life. And that's nice. perfect for cats because we're very independent. Yes. Very, so, yeah. very independent. Yes. So I had fun with that. So uh, the instructor, Chris Anderson, mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I've heard that he did a great job and mm -hmm. you followed along. I even saw some video. Yes. And yes. you were doing your uppy downy I things was. with your fish in your hand. Yes, I was. With the fish bowl. Well, yes, I, I'm very talented. I, I, I thought we'd already amazing. established that. Yes. We yes. totally established yeah. that, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. just so impressed. I wanted yes. to make sure everybody mm -hmm. was able to see it because yep. if you haven't seen the video on the Facebook page, you really need to check it out mm -hmm. um, at the Enid Public Library Facebook page. 
the cat is doing exercises with the whole group, balancing it's, the fish. It was amazing. Fun. It was fun. Okay. So, yes, so we do the sale yes. with Chris Anderson, mm -hmm. and he is from Ojai. Oh, hi. Yes. The Oklahoma Healthy the Aging Initiative. Initiative. Yes. Yes. And so he comes twice a week, mm -hmm. Mondays and Wednesdays. And then also Monday evenings, we have an easy yoga. Oh, And it's kind nice. of a, you know, how Mondays, your first day back to work, if you're still working, um, can be kind of stressful, right? Mm -hmm. There's all those Monday things you have to catch up from the weekend. So it's an, kind of nice on Monday evening just to do some gentle stretching and balancing. And mm -hmm. and I've heard that the um, adult services programmer, Margot, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that she tends to fall asleep because the relaxation part it's, at the end- It's so relaxing. It's really good. So sometimes she snores. That's what oh I hear. My. That's what I hear. Now, okay. yeah, next week, yes, we're gonna do some celebrating. You have, I tell you what, you have just so gotten involved in the library this week. I, have. I love that you can tell us what's happening. I have. What's happening next week? Well, on Monday, they're gonna have this dinner because oh. apparently, like grown-ups like to read too. I know that little kids like to read Dr. Seuss, but mm -hmm. apparently, grown-ups like to read too. Yes, and so they joined this winter reading challenge, and they had like this game sheet, so it was like oh, a game, okay, which is kind of fun, mm -hmm. kind of fun. So there is a celebratory dinner. Ooh, that's, I bet you'll, are you Monday gonna show night. up? It wouldn't surprise me because you're all about food. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I, I hope to because I am all about food. I don't think there's gonna be cake and I was a little bit disappointed about that, but there will be some other yummy food. Okay. And people need to like, they have to have enrolled. Okay. And winter reading to come and they, they were supposed to put in a reservation too, but that's okay. gonna be super fun. And that's then wonderful. on Tuesday, because you know, cats like to go out and play mm -hmm. outside, right? Mm -hmm. So on Tuesdays, there's a group that meets at noon and talks about mindfulness and meditation. Oh. And cats are really good at that. If you've ever yes. seen a cat like laying in the sun and stuff, we're not just napping, we're meditating. Okay. So we are going to meet at the OSU Garfield County Extension Garden. Oh yes, for the labyrinth. They walking. have a labyrinth there and we're going to do walking meditation. Wonderful. Well, they are. I might just lay in the sun and roll around. I don't know. Okay. But it's gonna be fun. Okay, wonderful. Those can be wonderful mm -hmm. experiences. I've walked a labyrinth before mm -hmm. and it's, it's really an, a fun, new, mm -hmm. not new, but mm -hmm. just kind of a different way to yeah. explore meditation and prayer and quiet time. Yeah. And so it's great. That'll be terrific. It is, yeah. All right, so you're you're on a roll. What else is going on in the library? Well, next week we have uh, teen breakout boxes and I don't know exactly what they're gonna do, but if you come on Monday. They have to solve all these yeah, problems and answer these questions to escape wherever they are and so you it's can so have cool. different boxes you can be in different places cats love boxes uh, well then you know we maybe we'll have one for cats someday i don't know I we mostly doubt do it, break in boxes true but break out is fun too yes I'll, i'm gonna look into that yeah I'm looking at, and we do a craft drop in yes we have a craft every monday mm -hmm. uh, at uh -huh. four o'clock um, and then it'll be out the rest of the week. So if you can't make it on Monday in the children's department, you can stop by the rest of the week and cool. do your craft. And of course, I'm gonna say, we have our story times on Tuesdays and Wednesdays mm -hmm. at 10 o'clock. With cake? Uh, not every week, not every week, probably not this next week, but I think we had enough cake this week to last us a while, don't you think? Mm, yeah, I guess so. I know. We mustn't be greedy. I know, that's right. And I know you might not like this too well, but we've started our elementary school book club. Mm -hmm. We had our first book club with the book Wonder at the end of February. Our March book club is actually gonna meet a little bit earlier. We're gonna meet the Friday of spring break week. Mm. So I believe that's gonna be March 18th. Mm -hmm. And our book is about a dog. Why? Yeah, I know. Well, because you could do we the love cat. dogs too. Well, you could do the cat in the hat. 
Yeah, well, we could, okay. but we want to. We spent a whole week with the cat in the house. It's true. So we are reading the book because of Win Dixie. It is a Ooh. Newbery Honor book mm -hmm. by Kate DiCamillo. And so we have copies at the library ready to check out. You can come. We'll talk about the book for about 30 minutes. And then because a movie has been made based on this book, we will be able to show the movie. We have performance rights so that we can show that. And we will be doing that at 2 o'clock, the Friday of Spring Break Week. I like And movies. everybody can come to the movie. I like movies. Can cats come? You may come. Yeah. You may come. Not everybody's cat because they might all get scared with the dog barking in the movie. It's true. So it's we true. don't want to have okay. too many cats. But you, we can maybe make okay. an exception for. Okay. 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 Also coming up. During spring break, yes, is a Friends of the Library used book sale. Terrific. <gasps> what a great chance to get some books at a really inexpensive mm -hmm. price. Right. They usually do it about twice a year. Okay. So that's going to be the 17th, mm -hmm. St. Patty's Day, yes. the 18th, and the 19th in okay. the morning. Thursday, mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. That'll be good. Well, also spring break week. Yes. We are starting some programming for our preschoolers from three to five years of age and then for elementary school kids. Mm -hmm. And these are going to be what we call STEAM or STEM programming. This is by a reservation. You have to call and sign your kiddos up. Mm -hmm. But our mini mad scientists are for three to five year olds. We will be um, exploring a book, but then we will be doing some scientific experimenting based on that book. And Ooh. the first one will be about, the first one is in March, is gonna be the three little pigs for our mini mad scientists. Ooh. And then our junior scientists Scientists will be for elementary school kids. Mm -hmm. Again, you have to call and sign up your kiddo. Um, and we will be doing something with volcanoes. Eruptions! Probably. If we, if we experiment well and our experiments go well, yes. So be sure to sign your kiddos up if you've got a three to five year old or if you have an elementary school kid. So we've okay. got those for Wednesday and Thursday of spring okay. break week. Okay. So fun stuff Great. coming, branching out, trying some new things. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Okay, well, I did hear a little rumor that Miss Susan might be out of the building the end of next week. I am going to be in Tulsa for the Oklahoma Library Association meeting on Thursday and Friday. Um, so yes, I will be out of the library. You will not be doing crazy games, will you? Well, you know, I do specialize in places without adult supervision. I know that. So, uh, I mean. But your fish will tell everybody no. But sometimes I feel the need to express myself creatively, if you will. Oh dear, I, so I'm gonna have to get some, I hope I have some kids in the library who come in to make sure you aren't making mischief everywhere in the library. I would make <sighs> mischief. You will, everywhere. you will be up to shenanigans. I might, Yeah. I might, but it'll be fun, <laughs> it'll be fun. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm, I'm I hope you, well, but I do also know that you mm -hmm. always clean up after yourself before the grown-ups come back in. It's true. It's yes. true. Yes. So I'm, I'm mm -hmm. certain it'll be okay. It will. It will. Okay. And I just wanted to thank you for inviting me to spend time at the library I this week. I am so glad you came. And I, you it got to meet lovely. so many of our fabulous kids they who are. come to the library. They're wonderful. And you got to watch them make pictures of you. They did. Okay, so here's the thing. They made pictures of me and they had little mini me's all over the library mm -hmm. and that was super fun. They made pictures of me and I was a little bit like freaked out when they ate cake that had my face on it because I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. Well, we also had the pinata know, with your face on it. They had a pinata that was my face and they hit it with a stick. <laughs> And that was a little bit suspect, but it was full of candy, so it was sweet like me. There you go. Yeah. So lots of fun was had, and yes. you met so many great kids yes. who live in Enid, mm -hmm. who come into the library to check out books and do crafts and to have fun and to enjoy learning and reading. And 
exploring this world because that's certainly what Dr. Seuss was about. Yes. Um, writing books that made kids curious and made them laugh and made them want to live life with joy. And we see that in a lot of his books. And made them fall in love with language. That's right. You know, even silly playful. language. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Made up words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we love that. Yep. And so we've had a lot of fun this week. Good. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's it for today. But uh, please stop by and see us. We'd love to have you come in and check mm -hmm. out what's going on at the library. And if you have ideas for programming, give us a call. If you yeah. see a need that needs to be met, mm -hmm. um, give us a call and let us know because we're here uh, to meet the needs of the Enid community as we learn and grow and read together. So you all have yeah. a great afternoon. Bye. Bye.